In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way that I know of to cancel a pending order in MetaTrader 5 when a related pending order gets triggered. This is known as order cancels order, one cancels the other, or OCO for short. This used to be hard to do, but now it's super simple and you can even customize your OCO orders to fit the way you trade. I'll give you the exact formula on how to do this. Before I get into that, however, I'll show you two trading strategies that use OCO orders and why this is an extremely powerful order type. How's it? My name is Hugh, and let's face it, MetaTrader 5 is still stuck in 2008. Don't get me wrong, it's still a great platform and it's still very functional, but it lacks a lot of the features that modern platforms have. Luckily, with the development of AI like ChatGPT, we can now create our own custom functionality inside of MT5 without knowing how to code or hiring an expensive programmer. In the past, to get a custom EA or indicator for MetaTrader, I had to spend at least $150 to hire a programmer. And from there, I had to go back and forth with the programmer for about two to four weeks in order to iron out all the bugs. I don't do that anymore. Now I simply tell ChatGPT what I want and it will code it up in a few seconds. I will test out the code, go back to ChatGPT, fix any errors, and I usually end up with a very good finished product. Okay, let's jump into it. First, I'll give you two trading strategies that use the OCO order so you can see how powerful this order type is. Now, if you already know trading strategies, then be sure to use the timeline below because the next chapter will show you how to create the EA. The OCO order is useful in many situations, but the two big ones are retracements and breakouts. So I'm gonna demonstrate this on TradingView just because it's easier to draw on. And then I'll take you over to MetaTrader and show you how to create the EA. Let's start with a couple of retracement examples. In this example, there's a huge pin bar here. So I'm thinking that price is likely to go back up again. However, there are two scenarios that can happen even if I'm right. First, it could just break the top here and not look back. Uh, so that is something that I have to account for. And the other scenario is that it could retrace a little bit, maybe to about there, and then it could go back up. So obviously this is the better trade because when it retraces, I can get a slightly better price and then I'll get a better risk to reward ratio. However, if it just takes off, I don't want to be left out of the trade. So that's why I put this trade here. Now, obviously, I don't want to be in both of these trades. So if price retraces and I get a better price, I want this buy stop to be canceled. If price just takes off and hits the buy stop, I want the limit to be uh, canceled because I don't want to catch that order if it comes back down again. And even if price retraces and it misses the buy limit, I still want to be covered with the buy stop. So this is a perfect situation to use an OCO order because it will cancel out the other pending order if one of these gets hit. Now let's move it forward just out of curiosity and see what happens. So, okay, so what happened there was it missed this buy limit, but I did get the buy stop, so now I am in the trade. Here's another very similar situation, big pin bar. I'm thinking price will go up at least a little bit so I can place a buy stop there and then a retracement by a limit there. Then I can just let things play out and see what happens. So in this example, if we move the chart forward, I would have actually caught the retracement on that, which is fantastic because I got a better price. Now it's gonna move forward and will it break? Okay, so this one did play out, but it took a little longer than I expected. And look at the big difference there in profit. I was able to get this trade down here instead of having to settle for this one. So that's a huge benefit when I can do an OCO order. Another time when this can be beneficial is if you're doing a breakout trade. So let's say that we're tracking this uh, ranging market here. So what I can do is I can place a buy stop above this range and a sell stop below this range. And whichever one gets hit first is the one I'm gonna go with. This is good when you have like opening market ranges and you just wanna play the breakout, but you don't wanna get whipped out with both of the trades. So in this case, if price goes up and it hits this buy stop, then I want the sell stop to be canceled and vice versa. If the sell stop gets hit, I want the buy stop to be canceled. In this example, it broke above the range. So this trade would have been taken in and using the OCO EA, I would have taken out that pending order and I would just have this one to work with. Here's the final example. This is another range trade on the US Canadian dollar. And this is on the three minute chart. And as you can see, it's been ranging into the market open. So I'm gonna look for a breakout of this range and I'm gonna place a buy stop above and a sell stop below. And once one of these gets hit, the other one will get canceled out. And this is even more important on the lower timeframes because the prices are so close to each other that I could easily get whipped out of both of them. So in this case, I really want that OCO order EA to help me get out of the other side of the trade. Now again, just for curiosity, let's move this forward and see how this would have played out. Okay, so I would have gotten taken into that trade. 
Okay, so that looks like it would have been a profitable trade. Now there's a third really good use of OCO orders and that is in hedging, but I'll make a separate video about that. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to get more videos like this on how to create your own custom plugins for platforms like TradingView, MetaTrader, and CTrader. Before we jump into ChatGPT, I have to figure out some basic logic here. What do I really want this EA to do so I can give ChatGPT instructions? First, I only want the EA to close out related trades, so only the trades that are in the market I'm trading and the trades in that market that are related to the breakout or the retracement. I do not want the EA to close out trades in another market or trades in the same market that are not related to the breakout or retracement that I wanted to watch. I also want the EA to close out the opposite trade immediately so there's no chance that they could both get triggered at the same time. Since MetaTrader is pretty limited, I have to think creatively here. Now what I can use is the comment field in each trade. I can use that to mark which trades I want the EA to manage and it will ignore the other ones that don't have a comment. So the first thing I'm going to tell ChatGPT to do is to only look for open orders that have a comment. In this example, I'm going to use 88 as the matching comment, but it can be anything I want. And this will allow me to set up a retracement trade or a breakout trade or both in the same market and not have them interfere with each other. So they have different comments, different matching comments, and that will allow me to manage those trades separately with the same EA. Now I'm going to take that logic and explain it to ChatGPT and it will create the code for me. If you want the exact prompt that I'm using in this video, it's available in the description below. Simply copy and paste that into ChatGPT and it will give you the code. So when I do that, this is what happens. Here's the prompt for ChatGPT. I'm just going to copy it off of my blog post and then I'm going to paste it into ChatGPT. I'm currently using the 04 Mini High model. So keep in mind that this is educational information only. And even though you use the same prompt as me, you might get a different response even with the same model. So always triple check it before you use it with a live trade. Okay, the code is finished. I'm just gonna copy it and then head over to MT5. Inside of MT5, I'm gonna click on this IDE button. That's gonna bring up the editor. And then I'm gonna click on new in the upper left corner. And then I'm gonna select expert advisor template. I'm gonna to go to next, I'm gonna give this a name. So I'm gonna call this OCO6. And then I'm gonna hit next and then select all the defaults until I get to the template page. Once I'm here, I'm gonna click on the page, go control A for all, backspace to delete everything and then control V to paste what ChatGPT gave me. And then I'm going to compile it, which will turn this human readable code into machine readable code that MT5 can use. All right, so in this case, I got five errors and zero warnings. So a lot of people will stop here, but to fix this, all you have to do is select all of them. So click the first one, hit shift on the keyboard, select the last one, and then control C to copy and then paste that into ChatGPT. So in the chat box, I'm gonna say, please fix these errors. I'm gonna paste those errors in, and then it's gonna think for a little bit and it's gonna redo the code. Here's a new version of the code. I'm gonna copy this again and paste it into MT5. Again, I'm going to hit control A, backspace, control V, and then I'm going to compile. Okay, so I got zero warnings, zero errors, so this should be good to go. Now I'm going to test it out. First, I'm going to drag it onto the chart, and there are no inputs like I requested, and allow algo trading should be checked. I'm going to hit OK, and you should see the name in the upper right corner with the blue hat. That means it's activated. Now I'm going to test it with a pending order. So I'm going to right click, trading new order, and then I'm going to put in a pending order. And then I'm gonna put it in down here, the two there. And then in the comment, I'm gonna put 88. I'm gonna place the order. Okay, the order is set there. Now I could place another pending order, but it would be faster just to put in a instant execution because that should cancel out this trade. So I'm just gonna put in an instant execution with the same comment of 88. I'm going to buy and see what happens. Okay, there we go, the pending order got canceled out. In this video, I'm giving you everything you need to create your own EA for yourself. But if you want to take the shortcut, I have this EA available in my store, link in the description. Now I want to test to see what happens if I have two different comments. So first I'm going to put in a pending order with a comment of 88. And again, I'll put it down here and then place that. Now to stress test this, I'm going to put in another pending order with an 88 and see what happens. It should close both of them out, but let's find out. Okay, put it a little further down there and then put 88 in the comments. Okay, so I have two pending orders with the 88 comment. Now I'm gonna put another trade in there, another pending order to something like a 99. And then I'll do a sell stop and put it down there also. Okay, so that has 99. And I'm just gonna do one of those 
Now I'm going to put in an instant execution to simulate a pending order getting executed. So I'll put in a trade here and it doesn't matter what trade I put in as long as I put in the right comment. So if I put in 88 there and I buy, it should cancel out those other two. And there we go, the two 88s are gone and only the 99 is left. So now if I put in the 99 trade, that should close out the other one also. And there we go, I only have the 88 and 99 open trades there and all the pending orders are gone. Now obviously I would want to do more testing with this, have two pending orders for real, test multiple currency pairs at the same time, and make sure this is really working before I put it into production. Now that was cool and all, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Think about it, what kind of custom plugins could you create for platforms like TradingView, CTrader, and MetaTrader? Remember, you don't have to fully automate your trading. That's almost kind of a trap. It's actually really hard to find a fully automated trading strategy that works. However, as I mentioned in a previous video, it's actually a lot easier and potentially much more profitable to only automate part of the trade. So you either automate the entry, the trade management, or the exit. So I highly recommend that you think about trading automation in that way. How can you automate part of your trading? The great thing about AI is that now we basically have a translator that can turn our ideas into code. So instead of having to go through a middleman programmer, now we can go directly into the trading platform and do what we want. So put some thought into tools that would help your style of trading. Maybe it's a breakout trade entry like I just created, or maybe it's a trailing stop. If you need some ideas on what to create, check out the video that's coming up next.